Hi, it's John here. Just doing some cooking, making some Jerusalem artichoke curry. Now, what you need is some Jerusalem artichokes. Now, this is the common sort, Fizu. Uh, they're the artichoke colour, sort of brown, uh, light brown or yellow. Or common or garden artichokes. That's the normal common or garden size. Normally, about they kind of get bigger than that or smaller. That's a good size, that is. And this is the, the red-skinned one, which is a little bit more sought after, and they're not quite so profuse as the, um, these normal, these normal sized ones, these normal ones. Now I pre prepared some earlier here, and what I generally do, um, these are the odd shaped ones a bit, and what I tend to do um, is, is soak them in water, then just brush them off, and any bits that have still got mud on, or blemished, I'll um, cut out with the knife and then what I'll do is um, I'll put a bit of butter in a pan, a knob of butter in that pan and then uh, just put them in, cut them up into there, Ooh. <laughs> slice them up into little pieces and uh, first of all I just let them Ooh. fry slightly. And I use butter uh, because butter is tastes so good, doesn't it? I don't use marge, and I don't add any salt to the mixture either because the butter's got a little bit of salt, and the butter's got tons of flavour in it, just enough to um, cover the bottom of the pan. Not too many. To get the picture. <laughs> right, now I've got this on. Um, just got it on two at the moment, turn it a little bit, and I just let that uh, let that heat up a little bit, <coughs> and I add some seasoning. Now what I add, I've got some all-purpose seasoning, ingredients, paprika, garlic, mustard, onion, um, chilli, so it's got a bit of chilli in there, nutmeg, cloves, and uh, oh, it's got a bit of salt. It's got a bit of salt in this as well. I don't put too much of this on. Because what I do, what I do to, with herbs like this, just taste it. See whether you like it. Go ahead, it's a bit salty. I've got, I've got a big pot of this, so I've got to get rid of it. That's the way I think. So I just give it a little scattering. I suppose really it'd be about about a teaspoonful. Oh, I can taste the spice. It's actually quite nice after after it uh, after it lingers a little bit. And then my main thing that I love to put on is turmeric. Now turmeric is supposed to be very good for you. And I put about a dessert spoonful of this on. And it's not very hot. It comes from a ground up tropical tuba, tuberous plant, and um, so it's a little bit like a, 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 an artichoke, um, but it's uh, tropical. And then I put about, not too much curry powder on, just a little bit of curry powder, just to give it a bit more bite. And uh, find an implement, just stir it around a bit. Now what I do, I fill that up with some water. Well, I don't fill it up, but... Ah. Do you hear the sizzle? That's what I was hoping when you get some sizzle. So that's already boiled that water, so it's not cooling it down too much. Now I'm just going to make sure they've all got a good soaking of the, the spices in there and you can see it's all lovely and yellow now. And I'm just going to <coughs> let that heat up a little bit more, bring it up to the boil a bit, and then I'll put the lid on and let it let it simmer. I don't know 
when you know anything about Jerusalem artichokes, but they are supposed to be exceedingly good for you, setting up the right sort of bacteria in the gut. And they contain something called inulin. It's not insulin, it's inulin. And it, uh, it's supposed to have beneficial effects. There's no sugar in them, although they are quite sweet. You know, it's, I don't think there's any starch. So, um, one thing about them is that the, the gut cannot actually digest inulin. Uh, whether it will over a period of time, I don't know. But uh, that's what makes you get an awful lot of wind with it, which of course is the big disadvantage with Jerusalem artichokes. But uh, it, 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 it's got an awful lot of fibre in it. Now this, is, this book is called The Healing Power Jerusalem Artichoke Fibre. Enhance the healing response of antibiotics. Supercharge your immune health with miracle of plant prebiotics. And um, obviously it's a book which is very keen on, on, on the uh, Jerusalem artichoke. And um, you can get Jerusalem artichoke flour and all sorts. It's quite a technical book. Not, not light read. Uh, inulin and weight control. It's quite good for stimming. And of course it's exceedingly good for diabetics. Um, because it's got no sugar in it. Now, as you can hear, that is nicely boiling now. Now I'm gonna let now I'm gonna turn that down to to uh, two on the cooker and just let that simmer. Put the lid on there. I'm gonna let that simmer until uh, the artichokes have gone soft. And then, so that means they're cooked. And then I shall take the lid off and just reduce it down so as the, um, the sauce is uh, like, a, like, like a curry sauce, nice and, nice and sort of thick. So uh, have, that's all I can do for the time being. I'll have to come back in a few moments. Right, you can see that's reduced down now, and that's quite a nice thick juice. And I've just given it a little try with the knife, and it's, it's quite soft and cooked. Don't want to overcook the mouse; they'll turn into a mush and, and make into soup. So I'm going to turn that off now. And uh, I normally let it cool. Well, I'll let that cool down before I start eating them. And they're better if it, the next day curries, a curry is good if it's left um, but that'll last me that'll last me two two feeds it's good for you that is and here's some that I didn't do in this batch so I'll just put that in a little bit of lemon juice um, a little bit of lemon juice and water and salt and they'll keep if you don't put them in the lemon juice they won't they'll go a funny colour. Also, don't try cooking the um, juice of artichokes in a metal vessel because they'll go black and not look appetising. Even if you bake them in the oven, you aren't always... I mean, that is an enamel um, saucepan. Here's, some, here's a close-up of those artichokes. They look a bit like lobsters, don't they? He's only been dug up today, so they're very fresh. That's the... Uh, these you, and these are the the red ones. The red ones tend to get be very knobbly, very odd, very odd things. The book, and there's my magic spice, the turmeric, lovely spice. Um, one thing I didn't mention previously was that. Uh, leave the skins on the book suggests you leave the skins on because most of the good part of the the vegetable is actually under the skin although somebody has said to me um, uh, to take the skins off it gives you less wind i've also heard another way of getting less wind is adding adding the herb savory winter savory or summer savory to the mix um, which i normally do but i forgot this time but it doesn't make any difference on wind, I've found. <laughs> you get wind, whatever, but you just have to pop out the room at the right time. Okay, um, highly recommend. 
highly recommend these through the Matrix. If anybody has any difficulty getting hold of them, send me a, a PM, a, a, what is it, message, email type message, and I, and I can easily get, get hold of some for you. Right, bye.